Why did George Reilly switch stance in his standout? That's a great question. You know, in practice, we do switch stance in strike. Like when we, when we do pads, when I would hold pads for George, uh, you know, I've held pads for him for well over 10 years. We always did both sides. However, when he fought 95% of the time, he was one-sided. He was fighting righty. And that's because that 5% of the time was just for those key transitions where somebody would step back. You can switch temporarily just for one combination. Um, one combination comes to mind. Watch his fight against John Fitch. At one point, George turns Sapa, throws a fake left kick, and goes into a spinning back fist and hits F Fitch flush on the head, flush in the face. And that's why we do it. We switch stance and practice just to mix the guy up. But you got to stay in your orthodox stance, your... your your most comfortable stance for 95% of the fight. Why? Because defensively, you'll never be as good. So offensively, you know, I can feel really good kicking and punching from both sides, but my reflexes for slipping, blocking, shielding, stepping out of the way will never be as sharp on both sides. At least that's true for the majority of fighters. I know there are some fighters out there that say that they're comfortable, as comfortable both sides. And it could be, it could be, you know, I'm not one of those guys. I switch when I train. However, when I spar, I switch very, very little. And that's just to give me an edge on offense. But on defense, I'll never play sop off for too long. Okay, so that's just a little tip for you guys. When will GSP be running for Prime Minister of Canada? That's from Mick Douglas. Great question, Mick. You know, um... Uh, he would have to be probably, uh, I don't think George follows politics at all. <laughs> I don't think George follows politics at all. Um, I think we follow American politics more than we follow Canadian politics. And that's just because Trump is so, I don't know, what's the word for it? You guys give me the word. What's Trump? He's so, you know, he grabs the headlines. He makes, he says such crazy things that you kind of tune in, you know, he kind of like grabs your attention he is an attention grabber i gotta tell you that when trump was elected i remember coming back home from the gym and seeing on the news that trump was elected i was shocked i thought he had no chance of winning not that i'm an expert in this not that i was forecasting at all not that i know anything about american politics but i thought i thought it was like hey how's this guy who's never been in office he's a he's an act he's not a, he's not an actor he's a reality tv star you know, does he know anything about politics? Like, I, I didn't follow his career. I didn't think he had a possible chance to win. Now, again, I was just... I was just thinking that because I couldn't believe that a guy who does reality show... Like, I didn't think of Trump as a as a president. I always thought Trump as a guy who was just, you know... He fell into money and uh, he's a he's the type of guy who say say or do anything to grab a headline. But he was elected president. I got to admit that I kept checking in the next day like is this real is this possible was there some kind of error was it rigged like you know i started following politics more and now i know a lot more about politics and american politics than i have ever known and that has a lot to do with trump because trump is a you know like him or hate him he you you got to pay attention to what he's saying and what he's doing because he's he's making waves you know he's making waves he's trying to shake up the world he's trying to shake up uh, north america at the very least and um I can't say that I like what I read from him or I like what I hear from him, but uh, he's definitely grabbing attention. Now, would George ever run for uh, office? Maybe when he's a lot older. Maybe when he's in his 50s and 60s and he just can't train as much and he fi develops an interest in politics. Maybe. That's possible. But right now, I would say he knows a lot more about American politics than he knows about Canadian politics. Did GSP invent a Superman jab? That's from Ronnie Perez. No, that's actually a very par a very uh, popular maneuver in karate and traditional martial arts. He didn't, uh, he did not invent it. That's for sure. He just popularized it in MMA. He was the first one to really do it on a regular basis in MMA. And uh, but it's a classic maneuver, very classic uh, maneuver. 